Like I'm the kind of guy that goes into my car, drive my auto car, reach to my destination, park the car, lock the door, go into straight to my location. The day when I bought my E36, I closed the car, walked two steps. Hi, I'm Dennis Yin. Uh, I am uh, an entertainer, entrepreneur and more. Uh, I am from Subang Jaya, born in Malacca. And the car that I drive daily is an E36 328 IS. This current E36 that I have, I bought it in um, last year. I bought it in, um, I think sometime in August. The car looks exactly like that. It's just that I've been fixing most of the internals, the engine part, changing all the wear and tear. I'm getting almost there so that I can spray the car. That's all I wanted to do. Well, uh, long story short, a good friend of mine named uh, Sean Lee. Not sure if you guys know this guy. He's, he's known for all his drifting videos, right? So I was like, hey, I feel like I want to learn how to drift. Uh, you mind tell me which car would be the best suited for me? And I don't want to look at JDM because I wanted to learn about cars. I like turbo, all that intercooler. I, I hear from my friends, like it scares me. So I said, I just want a natural aspirated. And then he said, go for E36. The main key I, I, I was very uh, anal about was that I wanted manual. People are like, why you want manual daily? You're crazy, then it's But the thing about manual car is it keeps me awake through the traffic jam and everything because you have to always maintain the, the pedal, you have to remember the gear. Um, I remember on my first coupe, uh, I spent a total of 25,000 ringgit on that car. I mean, it was because of uh, lack of experience and a lot of uh, things that I did not know. So whenever somebody say, hey, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this, you should do that, you sh I just did most of it because I didn't know what is right or what's wrong. All the parts on BMW, Coupe and Sedan, it's separate. Even the dashboard, um, the, the power motor and all the kind of stuff. And for people who did not know, E36 Coupe 1992 all the way up to 1999, they have three types of doors three versions of doors. They have three versions of power moto and only for coupe. So then has two versions. It took me two years to understand that because no workshop understood that. For newbies, make sure to have like friends or like people around you to recommend you good workshops to go to because uh, my experience started during COVID and a lot of people, they don't go out in their house. So from point A, which is my house, to the workshop, which is in Sunway, right? A lot of people say Sunway cut through and all. Yes and no. There are some very reliable workshops over there that they don't cut your throat. But there are some that not just cut your throat, force shit down your throat. And it's really, really bad. And they, you end up spending way too much money than, than you should. I mean... Everything has a price. <laughs> I have a 1988 190E. I have a 1996 E36 328i. I have a 2003 E46 convertible 325i. I have a 2006 E90 E20i. Yes, so I have these four. I'm currently the Tingo, the E90 and the E46. My E46, I'm asking for 70k. We can discuss. My 190E after I finish building the Evo 2 body kit, 70k if anyone's asking. And for the E90 320i, call me. It's cheap. But hey, if you want to buy your car, go nowhere. But it will see House of Cards. I've been trying to fix this sound for the past three months and uh, a lot of workshop cannot fix it. No sound, uh. no, no sound, no, no sound. sound uh. All the workshop. Can you hear click, 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 click? Been trying. Men's been trying real hard. But men don't know how to find this problem so we have to go to different, different workshop and ask. Tak mau. Tak mau.